<clears throat> I want to jump right into things. First of all, an interest rate and bond market update. And I actually have some good news. Uh, we've had some improvement in bond yields. And that, of course, has meant that we're seeing some improvement in rates. Uh, in fact, I would say this week we can finally say bye bye to those 7% rates that the news media kept talking about the last couple of weeks. Of course, we never quite hit there. Uh, and you can see on our rate grid, we're now nicely back into the sixes, pretty much across all program types, you know, conforming fixed rate uh, buy downs. Uh, we can actually now do temporary buy downs where the start rate is in the mid threes. Uh, FHA and VA now is back below the 6% level. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the 6% level. So that's good. Uh, um, and, um, and HELOCs, of course, as I mentioned before, we haven't seen an in increase in HELOC rate since last July. So that's all good news there. So what happened? What, what was going on this week uh, to get these bond yields down? Uh, and of course, the next slide, what we're going to show you is the 10-year bond yield over the last five days. 